In this video, I am going to show you how to export a tabular data to Excel file. First, let's look at what we will build. Here we have a table of product data and a button. When we click the export to Excel button, the product data will be exported to an Excel file and download will begin automatically. This is the Excel sheet with headings that was downloaded. In this video, I am going to create this application from scratch. So, if you already have a table that needs to be exported, skip to the part where I talk about that. Here, I have a fresh install of Laravel running. Let's create product model first. We also add the M and C flag to generate migration and controller file automatically. Let's design our product table first. Inside the migration folder which is inside the database folder, we have a create products table migration file which we generated earlier. The product table is going to have four columns which are product name, quantity in stock, unit cost of product and product category. Let's create database for our application. I am going to use terminal for creating database. You can do it using any graphical database client. After logging in, I am going to create a database named Laravel Excel. Next, let's set up our env file for connecting our application and database. Put your database name, username and password here. Let's run our migrations. Let's open our product model and make the columns mass fillable by setting the protected guarded property to an empty array. We are not creating forms to add product data. For Laravel CRUD, you can visit my previous video. In this video, let's make product seeder to populate products table. The cedar file is inside the database folder. Let's create some products in the cedar file. Let's register our product seeder to the database seeder file. Let's seed the database to populate the products table with the data. We will now check if the data has been stored using Tinker.
Great. Our data has been stored. Now, let's create a view to display products data in a table. We will use Bootstrap for CSS. So let's visit the Bootstrap website and copy the CSS link. Paste the Bootstrap CSS link in the head tag of our view. We will create the table in a moment. First let's create a route to view all product. Let's create a get route that is handled by the index method of the product controller. Do not forget to import the product controller in this file. Next, we will create the index method in the product controller. It will return the products view that we created earlier. Let's check. Great, our root and controller is working. Now, we will design our table to view products data. On the top of table, let's add a button which will auto-download the Excel file. Let's check. Let's pass all the product's data to this view in the index method of the controller.
Let's iterate through all the products using A for each loop and create a row for every product. Let's check. Great, now we have all the data in the table. In this section, we are going to export a table to Excel sheet. We are going to use the Laravel Excel package to export our data to Excel file. Let's look at the installation guidelines in the documentation. Go over the requirements to use this package. We are going to use Composer to install this package. Let's make the button go to link export. We will create the root in a while. Let's make a export root that will be handled by the export method in the product controller. Let's create the export method in the product controller. Let's create a product export class using the package that we installed earlier. The products export file will be inside the exports folder which is inside the app folder. We will use from view here instead of from collection. Also, don't forget to import the from view class here. Instead of collection, we now need to have a method named view that returns a view. In the products controller, let's get all the products from the database and return an Excel file. We will use our products export class constructor that receives the products. We will create a constructor in the products export later. Also, the downloaded Excel will have a name of products.xlsx. We had passed products data to the products export constructor. Now, let's get the products data by creating a constructor in products export class. We need to return a view here. So let's create the view.
Let's return the view we created with the product's data. In the products export view, we just need the table. So, let's copy the table from products view and paste it in the products export view. Let's check. Great, the Excel file was downloaded automatically. Let's open the Excel file and see if all the data is there. All the data was exported successfully. The only thing this Excel file is lacking is the headings. Let's fix that next. Wrapping the th tags inside atr tag should do the trick. Let's check. Let's open the downloaded Excel file and check for headings. Great, headings are there. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already.